So we were approached by the MedPro team to collect 3D motion capture and force plate data with someone walking with and without the MedPro. Some of the initial data we looked at just looking at basics were the temporal spatial parameters. And those were the two that we looked at were step length and stride length. So in order to understand what a stride is, it's three complete steps. And it's from initial contact to initial contact on the same side. Um, so that includes three steps. We have one, two, three. So it would make sense then if someone's steps are shorter, their stride lengths are going to be shorter. And when that happens, we start to see a chain reaction of events where we see a difference in the ankle angle. We then see a difference in the knee angle and further up the chain as we go. Um, the difference we, we saw were um, the plantar flexor angle of the foot. So what we saw was normally when someone walks with a longer stride, they're going to have more of a pronounced heel strike. But when the uh, med pro on, we saw that people were taking a shorter step. That means they had more of a plantar flexion. Their foot was already down and their body weight more over the foot at that initial contact, which then affects the moment at the knee. And that's the key because, you know, most people with osteoarthritis are going to be complaining of knee pain. They're going to have that compression or excessive stress at the knee joint. So by doing that, we had, we saw a decrease in the extensor moment right after initial contact. And that's the point that we looked at and said that this device is helping to unload or take some of that stress off the quadriceps um, tendon as it goes across the knee.